back in 2018, thousands of people gathered here for the March for Our Lives. Now, a student who led that charge for gun control owns a gun, and she's encouraging others to do the same. I never even thought that I would own a gun. Not a single thing has changed, and that needs to change. Not too long ago, Ermia Fanion was one of the loudest voices in Utah fighting for gun control. I was completely against gun ownership in any sense. Today, she's carrying her very own AR-15. So I thought it was incredibly important for us to begin protecting ourselves and our own communities. Ermia identifies as a trans woman. We believe that um, regular everyday Americans should be able to arm themselves. She's the director of the Salt Lake chapter of a group called Pink Pistols, an organization promoting self-defense and responsible gun ownership Magazines in. for the LGBTQ community. So what changed is the urgent need to save queer and trans people who are experiencing this epidemic of violence. Ermia and other Pink Pistols spend several hours a month here at the shooting range. They're intimidated at first. She says it doesn't take very long for that initial intimidation to be replaced by something else. And it's also incredibly empowering to see, you know, queer and trans people finally take the initiative to protect ourselves. Ermia has not personally been the victim of a hate crime but she knows the threat exists. There's been a continuous cycle of trans women experiencing murders every year. I've got her right on the target. Along with the feeling of empowerment, she believes coming to the gun range sends a message to would-be attackers. We are no longer an easy target for them to um, commit these crimes and violence against us. Making it clear. If politicians and the police aren't protecting us, which we fully recognize, we have to do that ourselves. She refuses to be the next victim. I feel a million times safer knowing that I have that protection and I have something that's going to uh, protect me and save my life if it comes to that point. And the Pink Pistols have about 300 followers on social media. Most members are college aged. Ermia adds that she is and she supports actually measures to end gun violence, but does not believe that taking guns away from responsible owners would achieve that goal. Live on Capitol Hill, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.